Hey guys, Deju22 here, and welcome to the SummerSlam Super Show Preview. And it is simply eight matches, and we'll go down the list of them. The first of which is the first of three grudge matches, and it will feature Rey Mysterio and Chuck Norris. Uh, this thing goes back uh, last season when uh, Chuck Norris attacked Rey Mysterio for no apparent reason. Although ha although time has passed since then, and uh, the roles have been reversed, uh, Norris is a good guy again, but Rey Mysterio is the bad guy, but uh, it's... This this issue between these two has not been resolved, and we'll see what happens as far as that is concerned. All right, number two is the second match, but also the second of three grudge matches, and that will feature two of the four members of We Four, and that is my good friend Digino and me. Yes, me. And we will take on Kofi Kingston and their newest member, uh, Kevin Nash of the High Rollers. Uh, we've had problems with them since last season, and we still have yet to uh, settle those issues right then and there. But we'll find out who gets the upper hand uh, at SummerSlam. Alright, the third and final match of the grudge matches, and the third match overall is one between John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Uh, Cena, and this is based on the real-life feud uh, back in uh, April of this year. And uh, and for John Cena, he has one victory over Brock Lesnar thus far. And if Cena wins, the feud between these two is over. But if Brock wins, then the feud continues. And then... For the United States title match, we have the champion, Miz, taking on Sonic again, only this time it adds a third opponent in CM Punk. Uh, how Punk got a United, a United States title match is beyond me, but we'll find out who wins between these three. Alright, next is the women's world title match, and it will feature Becca, who has been champion for 11 months and counting. And she's going to take on Eve, who is getting a third title shot, one-on-one. -on -one. And the rule and the, uh, the, the ruling is that if Eve is unsuccessful, Eve will be fired. So for Eve, it's do or die. Okay, next up is the rematch from Money in the Bank. And it will be for the Intercontinental Champion. It is the new champion, Bowser, taking on the former champion, Barack Obama. And we'll find out if Barack Obama can win the championship back. If he does not, then Obama cannot fight Bowser for the championship again. Okay. Up next is one of the big matches. And that will be the double titles match. Basically, it is... The World Tag Team Championships uh, up against the WWE Championship and the International Championship. Here's how it works. Uh, you have the Road Warriors. They want to become the World Tag Team Champions. And they're willing to put up the WWE Championship and the International Championship for the chance to get it. Whereas We 4 is putting up the World Tag Team Championship up against the Road Warriors for the chance to win the WWE and international championships. So basically the team that wins wins the 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 championships of their opponents and drops the uh, championships that they were in possession of. And of course the team that loses loses it. Loses everything, really. So for the Road Warriors, if they win, they become the World Tag Team Champions. But if uh, any two of the four, or or excuse me, if any one, uh, this is, uh, it's between the Road Warriors and 
Mario and MG Blue of Wii 4. So there's the other two members of Wii 4. Sorry, I, I forgot to uh, mention that a little earlier. But if the Road Warriors win, they become the World Tag Team Champions. Uh, but if the team of Wii 4 wins, whoever gets the pinfall or submission becomes the WWE Champion. And the other person becomes the International Champion. And then the fate of the team that won, say for example the Road Warriors, if they win, the WWE Championship and the International Championship will be vacated. But if we 4 wins, the World Tag Team Championships will be vacated and we'll find a way to uh, crown new champions. Whichever championships it might be. Uh, number 8 is the big one. It will feature uh, the new World Heavyweight Champion, the two-time World Heavyweight Champion, Nufi Banga, and he's going to be and he's going to be defending the championship against the former champion in Axe and Justin Bieber uh, in a triple threat match. Uh, th this whole thing involving the champion Nufi Banga, it all starts with Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber interfered in a matchup that featured both Nufi Banga and The Undertaker. It was a double title match, and Bieber ruined it. He ruined it for Nufi Banga, and as a result, Bieber was fined. Uh, but the worst part of it was that the World Heavyweight Championship was vacated, and... Uh, I believe it was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, oh yeah, it was at Fatal 4-Way, uh, the Super Show, that the championship was on the line, it was a 20-man rumble, and the final two men were Nufi Banga and Axe, and it came down to those two, in which Axe won. And then, at Money in the Bank... Nufi Bongo wins the Money in the Bank ladder match, then cashes the Money in the Bank briefcase on Axe to regain the World Heavyweight Championship, but in the process, he also made an enemy of Axe. And as for Justin Bieber, Bieber has interfered in the Bongas matches repeatedly, almost as much as CM Punk had interfered in the Rocks matches. So... For Nufi Banga, it's all about survival and revenge. Uh, survival against Axe, who is obviously the biggest of the three. But he also wants revenge on Justin Bieber. So Nufi Banga has put himself in a corner, albeit unintentionally, but for Banga, he's got to find a way to take out Axe, even if it means working with Justin Bieber to do it. And then, he, he also has to be aware of Justin Bieber's, you know, tendencies to try to win the match, even if it means beating the bonga. It's, it's going to be a, uh, a triple threat elimination match, uh, that, that's, and it's going to be extreme rules, so it's going to be doubly dangerous for bonga. But that's going to be SummerSlam, and then after that, uh, we'll have a few weeks leading up to Night of Champions, and then we'll have the final three. We'll have two more super shows, and then we'll have WrestleMania, and then that's it. That's it for season three. But not to get ahead of myself. Enjoy the show, have a great time, and I'll see you there. Peace.